on the hunt. They are moving. They got to go find a mate <laughs> <laughs> just in time before the last, what was it, quarter? Quarter moon. Whatever. <laughs> um, let's talk about, and I do want to briefly note that we, that big storm out in the Northwest, bomb cyclone, sometimes social media gets a hold of these terms. That is not a new term. That's a technical term. And it's not just relative like, oh, this is a big storm. It's technical, meaning kind of like how we used to talk about rapid intensification, same exact type of thing where a bomb cyclone is going to be 24 millibar drop within 24 hours, kind of like rapid intensification. When you talk about a tropical system, same thing, a low pressure system, it has 34 knots within 24 hours. So kind of the same idea there is basically intensifying really fast and they get really strong winds uh, and quite the storm up to the northwest. All right. On with our forecast. All right, we have a couple of isolated showers, drizzle, if you will, left over for Hendry County. The front still working its way through, really panned out to be just what we expected, maybe lasting a little bit longer with the rain than we wanted by a few hours. But we are done with the rain. Cloud cover still hanging around. It's still on the humid side, but not yet. That cool, dry air is going to take a while, really during the day tomorrow, to kind of set up shop. So tomorrow morning, you head out the door. It will be cooler than it was this morning. But if you're thinking, this is so bad. What are they talking about? Just hold on. It is coming Saturday and Sunday morning. You'll notice a big difference. Here's why this area in orange and red behind that cold front behind that blue line. That's the dry air. It has to work its way in. We're still kind of in this a uh, soupy area where it's still on the muggy side. Let's time out the temperature. So tomorrow morning, kind of just a, a little taste of the cooler weather. We're into the low 60s by 730 tomorrow morning. DeSoto County, you get a little bit of a head start into the upper 50s. Still on the warmer side, near 70 for Marco Island. By the afternoon tomorrow, a ton of sunshine, much more sunshine than what we had today, and also we'll have a little bit of a breezy condition, temperatures staying into the mid-70s. First dose of the real cool air. This could be already the coolest air of the season. So far this year, we've only gotten down to 59 degrees, at least for this season. On Friday, we could easily be into the low to mid 50s, low 50s for areas inland, still a little bit warmer once you get closer to the coastlines. Friday afternoon, low to mid 70s for the afternoon. Now we get into the real cool stuff. Saturday and Sunday morning will be our coldest one. Possible that Fort Myers and Cape Coral reach the upper 40s. Not a guarantee, but it's possible. We're in the forecast that uh, for 49 on Sunday, but areas inland, DeSoto County, Saturday morning, easily reaching the upper 40s. Uh, when you have a way from kind of that coastal influence with the northwesterly wind. Saturday during the day, we're barely making it out of the 60s. This will be be one of our cooler days uh, going forward. It's the coldest day of this cold snap. And then we'll finally return to the 80s, not until Monday. Sunday morning will be very similar to Saturday morning with a few upper 40s on the map and a lot of areas into the low to mid 50s. So going forward, no rain in the forecast, really just ample sunshine, and it's a temperature forecast for each day. Tomorrow will still be breezy uh, at times, winds gusting up to 15 to 20 miles per hour during the peak heating hours of the day. Again, a lot of sunshine out there, especially compared to the dreary kind of uh, gloomy day we had today. 63 degrees for tomorrow morning. Again, that's just the taste. The 50s and the upper 40s are headed our way for Saturday and Sunday. 73 by the afternoon for tomorrow, lower humidity, you'll notice that. And then on Friday, another great looking day. We don't touch the 80 degree mark until next week. Although this is a long lasting kind of cool snap for us, we are back into above average temperatures by Monday and then it gets on the warmer and slightly more humid side by the middle of next week. That's your first alert forecast.